This lesson is Dreamweaver CC Jumpstart. In this lesson, you will learn how to get up and running with Dreamweaver CC. Specifically, you will explore the Dreamweaver user interface and get a better understanding of how web pages work. When you first launch Dreamweaver, you will be presented with the welcome screen. From the welcome screen, you may open a recent item, create a new item, or review the top features in the former videos available on the adobe.com website. To begin our lesson, we will create a new Dreamweaver site. A Dreamweaver site is a collection of all the files and assets you use in your website. To create a site, you simply provide a site name and a location of the local site folder where you will store your assets. For this lesson, we will name our site Lesson 1. We will click the Browse for Folder button and navigate to our DW Lessons DW01 Lesson folder. Click Choose and click Save. Dreamweaver will display our files under the Files panel. Here you see our Lesson 1 and the HTML and CSS files that comprise our site. You may wish to resize the columns to view the entire file name. The first file we will work with is basic HTML. Double click basic HTML to open it in the Dreamweaver workspace. Dreamweaver allows you to work with your files in four different views. The default design view provides a visual interface where you can add elements and content to your page. The split view shows the design view on the right hand side and the code view on the left hand side. In the code view, you can see the HTML and the CSS that structure your document. Code view gives you a full screen view of your HTML and CSS. In order to look at the fourth and final view, let's go back to split view. The fourth and final way to work with your page is in live view. Live view renders your page as it would appear in a native browser using the WebKit engine. Unfortunately, the live view does not allow you to edit your content or your code. To disable live view, simply click the button and return to our split view. Next, we'll take a look at how the HTML code on the left side and the design view interact with each other. Select the My Bold Title text in the design view on the right side. You will notice that Dreamweaver also selects the text My Bold Title in code view. In the code view, you can see that My Bold Title is surrounded by two HTML elements the paragraph element, and the strong element. HTML elements are made out of keywords surrounded by brackets. Each HTML element has an opening tag and a closing tag. The paragraph element separates our text into separate paragraphs, creating the necessary white space between them. The strong element provides the bold emphasis on our text. If we turn our attention to the Properties panel at the bottom of the Dreamweaver workspace, also known as the Property Inspector, we can see various menus, fields, and buttons that will allow us to interact with our HTML. Notice that the Bold button is currently pressed. This indicates that the selected text, My Bold Title, will be displayed using the Strong element, giving it the Bold effect. To clear the Bold effect, I simply click the Bold button. The Bold effect is removed, and the Strong elements are removed from surrounding the My Bold Title text on the Code View side. Since the text says My Bold Title, let's click the Bold button again so that the text remains rendered in the bold state. This is not the only way that we can interact with the HTML in our document. Tags can also accept CSS rules that specify additional information for how the tag should display the content. CSS rules may have one or more properties, such as size, color, or alignment. Let's select the last line of text. And going down to our Properties Inspector, Click the drop-down arrow next to None in the class drop-down. Let's select the Center class from the menu. This accomplishes two things. First, the text appears centered within the design view. And in the code view, the class Center has been applied to the opening paragraph tag. You will learn how to create your own CSS rules using the CSS Designer later in this book. For now, let's save this file, go to the File menu, press Save, and then File, Close, so that we may begin working with another file. 
Next, double click Images HTML and we'll see how you go about adding images to a web page. First, place your cursor at the end of the first line of text and press return. There are many ways to insert an image with Dreamweaver. We will use the insert panel. The insert panel features objects in several categories that allow you to insert images, HTML elements, and forms into your page. To add an image, click the image button and choose image from the pop-up menu. When the select image source dialog box comes up, navigate to your DW01 lessons folder, go into the images folder and select the gears image. Once the gears image is selected, click open and the image is inserted into the design view of the workspace. On the left hand side in the code view you can see that the image element was added including the location of the source file and the width and the height of the image. Another attribute that we can set is the alternate text. The alternate text is located in the properties inspector. This attribute is used to provide alternative text in the event that the image is unable to display. We will add the descriptive text gears to describe our object and press the enter or return key. Notice that the property inspector shows all of the attributes for the image including the source, the width, and the height along with the alternate text. This is just one example of how you can work with images within the Dreamweaver workspace. We will save this document and close it and we'll move on to our third and final sample. Double click white space HTML. This file demonstrates how HTML handles white space within the browser. In the design view, paragraph 1, 2, and 3 are separated by equal amounts of white space. However, if you look in the code view on the left hand side, you will notice that there are many more lines of white space between paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 than are displayed in the design view. This is because HTML browsers ignore white space. In order to control the display of white space, we must use HTML elements. The paragraph element is one way to control white space. Place your cursor at the end of the first sentence in the final paragraph. Press both the shift and return key twice to insert two soft breaks. You'll notice on the code view side, the Dreamweaver added two BR tags for line breaks, also known as soft carriage returns. Place your cursor in the beginning of the final sentence and press return. In the code view side you will notice that pressing return turned our final sentence into a paragraph on its own, wrapped in its own opening and closing paragraph tags. This is the preferred method for controlling white space within your document. You will learn several other ways to control white space using cascading style sheets in later chapters. For now, let's save our document, going up to File, Save, and let's close the file. This concludes the Dreamweaver CC Jumpstart lesson. In this lesson, we explored the user interface elements that make up the Dreamweaver workspace, and we looked at how HTML pages work through HTML tags and CSS.